Good morning, modern steaders. Oh, I don't think I ever showed you. I went back out and I finished grading off and filling in by the retaining wall yesterday. I wanted to make sure the water ran away, so I got that done. <laughs> oh, 51 degrees out, guys. <laughs> Burr. Reading in the comments, there's a lot of y'all that are still having summer weather. We're gearing up for fall and winter already. Here it is, September. Beginning of September. Where did the summer go? It flew by this year. Oh, some good apples. That just got me thinking, it's September, so that means we have just over a month left with the pigs. And then they'll be making us some delicious bacon. It's a little quiet here in the homestead when we don't have the pigs here in the winter time, but after all, it is why we live this lifestyle, is to, is to provide ourselves with the best food possible. I really am liking this new milker. Willow's been liking it too. Her milk production's up from up, ever since we started using it. Huh. Go ahead, go that way. You got an itch? What do you think, little man? I wonder if we had any activity on the game camera last night. I'll have to check it and see. Pluto got a haircut yesterday. Pluto! Our black copper maron rooster in here is learning how to crow. That means that the ladies should be starting to lay eggs soon. We want to keep the black copper maron rooster so that way we can use him for breeding. And we can hatch out some eggs next year. We'll keep him separate with the black copper morans, the olive egg layers. And a couple of our Easter egg layers will breed with him. We'll see what kind of eggs we get from him. What's up with this? You already took over the spot. We got an arm wrestle for it. I might as well get used to it and see if it fits good in there. No, I think it looks nice in there. One of the things I did notice when they delivered this pallet skid is it was built on four by four posts. So we're gonna use these two skid posts for part of the carport construction. All the other ones are built on skids, but they're two two by fours put together. So I was like, we got a few pieces of lumber we can use. Right? Those will be our our beans. Two of our beans. So do we need more beans? I already got them the other day. Now we get to get some frustration out and do a little bit of demo. It's always fun, right? It's kind of neat we're building part of our carport out of a shipping container. Right. Here. We're upcycling it. Hmm. Might as well. Might as well use it. The other skin we're going to use for something else. Yes. <laughs> Snapped.
So let's get a measurement for our first post. I mocked it earlier, so we need to go 82 and three quarter. I don't know really what, how this is gonna happen. I'm gonna have a post here, a post there, one in the center, and then two in the back. And then we're gonna build our beams on top of those, and then we can put our roof on it. Sounded like earlier this morning I was here in a loon, but I don't know where the loon would have been. Because we don't have a pond right by. Maybe it was confused. What's that? Maybe it was confused. Maybe. Had me confused. That's for sure. like a loose tooth that doesn't want to come free. Starting to warm up. Look, I started my... <laughs> you guys like the new shirts? We got some new merchandise. I'll have a link in the description down below. We got a pig shirt like this. Gina's wearing the goat one, but she's too cold. We got three new hat designs, sweatshirts. And my favorite one, which was designed by one of y'all, is a memorial for CWC. There'll be a link in the description down below. Got some more 10 inch lags for you to drive. I do. What's that? Oh, I just cut it. Here's the new one. So bad. We don't need the long ones. You always come with a bit? Yes. <laughs> Boom. Hold this, I want to figure out what height we need here so that it's level. Here, let's put a lag in that, holding it there. Do you want it flat? Don't drive it all the way home. Don't bury it because we got to take it out. Good. Screw it right there. Is it just temporary? It's just, this is all temporary. Oh. So we did all that so we can figure out how tall of a post we need. Come on. 59 and a quarter. I'm gonna zero that out. Throw that out. All right, fifty nine and a quarter. Then we gotta notch it oh, still. Is that a junk mask? Nope, we're gonna need that for our angle braces. Oh. Why would you want it for? Mm -hmm. 
today's project's gonna go a little bit slower because we gotta make all of our notching and our cuts. It's not all made for us. We've been spoiled. Well, today we can't just put it together. And I don't feel like picking up apples. You don't want to pick up apples? Really? Yep. I'll take the big one. See, when you buy the kit, this is all the stuff that's done for you. That's the time consuming part. It slows you down. Well, I wanted to know what you I've never seen anybody do that. Never seen nobody do it? You want me to hold on to it? How about hold this end? That'll work. This one will go right here. Boom. I like it. I don't feel like it grabbed anything. What? I don't feel like it grabbed anything. How long to make this post? Which is 42 inches high. Now. Yeah, we're gonna need that out of our way in a few minutes. I don't think this one's long enough. Nope, 37. But we'll be should be able to get two out of one. This one's gonna get. It's in my back pocket. Anchored to the wall. Is it gonna be permanent or temporary? This one is permanent. If we come down from the top of it, go 21 and a half. Figure it out? Yes, yeah, so if we come down here, 21 and a half. So we'll go 21 because you get a knot right there. That should drive it right into right there. that brace. So that one's extra long. Since we're building on top of pressure treated lumber, it's not always straight and square. So I made my bottom cut at an angle. So with the post sitting so on the angle. six by six, it should be nice and plumb. Good. Should be 
12, like. Cool. Alright, so let's just make it cut back to 12. Cool. Oh yeah, that's still nice and fresh and green. This is the front. We would notch out this. All right. All right, so now we need to twist it. Towards me? Yeah, so go one. Yep. Let's go one more. There you go. Alright, let's flip it this way. Roll it, I guess. Yep. There we go. So that one's good. So we'll switch ends and I'll work down here now. Right, let's roll it one more time. Booyah. I like it. So now this one's gonna go like so. That'll be the back. This one will sit in that half flap we cut right there. Bada boom, bada bing. Gonna need four total. Two in the front and two in the back for now. Measurement like we were hoping for, and that front one will be 10 feet. So, these two front and rear, we got to cut out of our skid, so we'll have to take that apart next. So, the skid weighed 41.58 pounds when it was loaded. Bottom off on this piece, make our half lap 
This will be the back side. Roll it, I should say. All right, roll it one more time. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. So we can cut that one next, put that one up, and then we'll make one for the center here, one for the center there, and then we can do our 45 braces. One. We're doing all that today. Hope so. And this one needs to get cut back to 10 feet. Spin it a bit. See if there's any areas we want to cut out. Other than the very edge, everything looks good. These are 30 inches, if I remember correctly. Long point to long point, yeah, 30. 45. should be able to do now set our stop like this and like that we tighten this up now how to lock the arm should be able to do this now. One cut, flip it over, hit our stop.
Well, it should all be the same length without having to measure. Now we just need six more. Are you just putting one in each? Yeah, one per. Per corner. Per corner. Figaro says, thanks for building me a new cat house. I thought it was only chickens that took dust baths. Yeah, what's up with that? Not cats. Watch your eyes for a minute, let me. All right. Yep. Perfect. There, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. She's rugged now. Kabota. She ain't going nowhere. Well, it's gonna look so nice. The Kubota parked in the tractor port once that's all done. <laughs> She's already claimed it. Look. You're gonna have to park it the other way. She's called Dibs. But they do. They say, feed me. I'm a hungry, hungry hippo. The great North American hippos. There, have some apples. You were getting low on them. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's plenty where that came from. You had full belly. Oh, yeah. They just want to talk. And say, come and visit. Come and visit. He's too tall. He's too tall. He's too tall. What's the matter, Caleb? You don't like Figaro? You want to give the boys some more kelp? Yeah. Watch this. Zeke loves it. What'd she just bring you? Oh yeah, yeah, look at that. Spot. Silly goats. Just you wait. I've got a cool surprise for you. Cool surprise for me? Yeah, for you too. You'll yeah. love it. You'll love it. Are you guys friendly now? You don't you're not so mean to each other. Oh, hey. What did I just say? Be ah, be nice. Are you going to thing to fix your feet or find a white as we will? You won't waste so much head. You won't waste so much. There you go. 
Yeah, they waste a lot. They do. Just getting here. Once the surprise is done, I'll get back here with the tractor and clean this out and compost it. Been getting like 15 or 16. Maybe tomorrow I'll have time to get in here and clean this out. That would be nice. What do you got? Four. Six. Eight. Nine. You can't do that. I did. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. That's what we've been getting lately. Fifteen, sixteen. Cool beans. So funny because then we go, we're getting like 13, 12, 13. And... Yep. The main structure that we're building our carport off of is a firewood shed that we bought off the internet from jamaicacottageshops.com. I'll have a link in the description down below to their site and a 10% off your off promo code. If you make a purchase, you get 10% off your order. Expires December 31st, 2019. But I thought it was pretty awesome. I was able to take the 4x4 post that the skid was built on to build a good third of our carport. It's pretty wild. We have, I think, three or four more skids that we're going to be making some other projects out of. But from now on, we'll be parking either the Kubota or the car in the carport. Once me and Gina wrestle for that, arm wrestle for that, and see who wins. And we'll just always know, hey, we built this out of a shipping container. Oh, it's always fun when we're able to upcycle bits and pieces around the homestead. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. We are getting closer and closer to finishing this project. Can't wait to start stacking the firewood in there. It's going to be so nice to have it under cover this year. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video.